Hello, happy people, and welcome to your Moment of Zed, the YouTube channel dedicated to the most beautiful car in the world, the BMW Z3, or as citizens of the UK call it, the Z3. I'm Mark, and I'm here today to bring you part two of how to clean and protect your top. If you haven't seen part one, how to clean your top, please click on the thing that's floating above my head that's a link, I hope, if I figure out how to do it. If not, try it and subscribe. Check out my homepage and then click on the video there. So today we need to go ahead and protect the top. We've already cleaned it. Before I get to that, a uh, couple things that I left out of my last video just for time's sake. Uh, number one, when I finished, I left the car out in the sun uh, to allow the top to completely dry. That's kind of important uh, before you go ahead and protect it. Since then, I've put it in the garage and closed the garage to keep the dust and the pollen off of it. We're still getting some pollen here, so I don't have to re-clean it before uh, I go ahead and protect it, which is what today's video is all about. Now, real quick, before we get into it, just wanted to show you how nice the top turned out from our cleaning, which was really easy to do. Again, check out that last video, and the top looks fantastic. But again, it does not bead water, and we need to fix that today by uh, putting on some fabric protectant. Uh, if you're wondering why there is blue painter's tape on the car and towels, uh, I will talk about that in a moment. So here's what we're using today, the second half of the 303 brand convertible top care kit for fabric tops, the fabric guard. Now, according to the directions, on the fabric guard, you should spray it on. We're not gonna do that, I'll talk about why. Also in the directions are some safety warnings about the fact that it contains petroleum distillates. So use it in a well-ventilated area and try to avoid inhaling a lot of the vapors. Now the reason we're not going to spray on the fabric guard as the directions say is fairly simple. Overspray can be difficult to get off of surfaces that it doesn't belong on, such as the plastic rear window, the finish of your car, uh, the glass of the car. So for those reasons, I'm not going to spray on the fabric guard. I'm gonna go ahead and brush it on using some inexpensive brushes that I picked up at the grocery store last night of various sizes and an old coffee can. Uh, I do have some protection on the car. As you saw before, I have some blue painter's tape. I have some towels over the parts of the car just to protect it because I'm no Picasso. So for my runs, drips, and errors, I'm gonna try and catch those before they get on other parts of the car. Now, if you were to spray it on, uh, you could do that, but you really need to tape off and cover up more of the car. And of course, if it's windy where you're at, that can kind of be a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush it on. Another advantage of brushing is you can go ahead and brush nice and deep inside the seams and the stitching and really kind of work it into the weave of the fabric. So for all those reasons, we're gonna go ahead and brush it on. Okay, so I already did a uh, small test area with the smaller brush just to make sure it didn't discolor the top. Uh, what I did notice is when you use the brush, it kind of makes little, uh, kind of turns it whitish, I think, from bubbles. So, um, and then I just wipe that down with a rag. So I'm confident that this will work, and I'm going to go ahead and start uh, the larger portions of the top with the larger brushes. Again, just kind of working it in like you would any brush, and you don't need to oversaturate according to the directions. And I'm just going to do this uh, bit by bit. And again, not gonna make you sit through all of this, but as you can see, uh, you get some kind of a uh, little bit of white there, I think from bubbles as you're, as you're brushing. Again, I'm working it into the seams. And to get rid of that white, that should go away on its own, but I'm just gonna kind of wipe that down with a rag. And there you go. Obviously, it is gonna make your top darker when uh, it's wet, of course. And this takes 12 to 24 hours to cure. So we'll take a look tomorrow and wrap up this video. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the top and show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're at the halfway point on the top. 
And as you can see, there's a slight color difference. Top's darker. I mean, it looks nicer. Maybe hard to see in this light. Uh, but overall, it's got a nice look. And one thing I found is I've kind of done a crisscross pattern on my brush strokes uh, up and down side to side to work it into the fabric a little better. Uh, as the directions recommend, you spray it in a cross pattern. Uh, so we're going to keep on going and hopefully the whole top will look this good when we're done. Okay, all done and the second side looks as good as the first. A uh, couple of final thoughts. I did this very deliberately section by section using kind of the, uh, the frame ribs as a guide to make sure I didn't miss any parts. I mean, it would be fairly obvious if you did once you looked at it overall, it would be the lighter colored portions of the top. Overall, it took me about an hour to an hour and a half using a two inch brush and a one inch brush. So not so bad, worth the effort, I believe. Uh, I've noticed as I've been working, I've had dust and stuff settle on the top. Uh, again, I'm working with the garage door open because I need the light to film. For most of you, you should probably close the garage door if you have access to a garage, just to keep the dust off of it while you're working. Uh, so we'll give it the 12 to 24 hours it needs to completely cure. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll do a final test to see if it worked and we'll wrap it up then. Have a good day. Welcome back, it's the next day and our top is cured and it's time to give it the obligatory does the water bead test. So let's go ahead and take a look from long distance. Amazing, it is perfect. Let's go ahead and do that in slow motion. Oh my gosh. Seriously though, the water is beating perfectly. Let's go ahead and zoom in and take a closer look. And here we go, close up. Beautiful. Water beads. If I rub it real hard, I can soak it in a little bit, but I'm pretty happy with that overall. Final thoughts and impressions. I'm very impressed with the 303 kit and the rag top brush. Both perform great for the price, which I think is fairly reasonable. I'll be back real soon with another video. As always, thank you for your time. If you found this content helpful, please hit that like button. And until next time, drive safe.